Hey friends, welcome back to IMI Phone Channel. iOS 18.2 has officially launched and we're thrilled to see the second major update for iOS 18. This new version is packed with fantastic features and smart enhancements that take your iPhone experience to the next level. In this video, I'm going to show you 10 must-see features that you absolutely can't miss. Let's dive in. First, you can finally set a volume limit for your iPhone speakers. To do this, we need to go to the Settings app, then go to Sounds and Haptic Settings, where you will find a button that allows you to set the volume limit for the built-in speakers. When you enter the Volume Limit section, you'll see a switch that you can turn on to enable the maximum volume limit. Here, you also have a slider that can be adjusted from 20% to 90%. This means the minimum volume you can set is 20%, while the maximum limit is 90%. Of course, if you turn it off, the volume will be at 100%. So if you just want to limit the volume, or maybe you're lending your iPhone to someone and you don't want them to blast the music or play any media at full volume, which could potentially damage your iPhone speakers. Now, with iOS 18.2, we also get a new toggle for the control center, which of course you can use on the lock screen as well. And that is the button that allows you to type to Siri. So this is very useful if you use it on maybe lock screen of your device, so you can just go ahead and straight up start typing the Siri directly from your lock screen. Or maybe you can use it from your control center. Mail app changes. There's also a change on the Mail app, so the Mail app will be totally different and it will be available for all devices. You will see right here, we have different sections now where you can actually filter your email, which is really great. You can see that the screen customization feature has different color options now, and the sleek black and gold look is just so cool. You can long press an icon, tap Edit, click Customize to see different layout options, or choose automatic to let the system arrange everything for you. It's all about personalizing your home screen. And I absolutely love this feature in iOS 18.1. Another thing that you will notice here is that if you go back here and you go to search, you will have now the option to actually change the search engine directly from here. So convenient. Another thing that I like, if you go right here under accessibility, then you would go right here under audio you will find now a new section that basically allows you to enable a volume slider for your music on the lock screen. And iOS 18.2 now makes it easier for you to find your items. This is what's new with Find My on iOS 18.2. So share item location will basically get help finding your location by sharing the location with maybe an airline or a trusted person. So if let's say you use maybe your luggage, you have an air tag right there, you can now actually share the location of that air tag with, in this case, they have the example here of an airline maybe, or just a trusted person that you have, and that should make it much easier for you to find any items that you have lost. And we are moving here under Safari. If you go to Safari and tap on the edit button. Now you will see right here that we have new wallpapers. Now six, two wallpapers that you can now add to the front page of Safari, and you will see these like download buttons. You will have to first download them on your device, of course, before you can use them. That's very simple to do. You just tap on it, and in a couple of seconds, you should have the wallpaper downloaded on your device, and of course, set up as the front page, your Safari. So if you just wanna to change to any of these wallpapers, you can do that. Another really great improvement with Safari on iOS 18.2, is that now when you go to hide distracting items like this, you can actually move through the page. Even if I select that, I can still move through the page here when I'm hiding different items from Safari. So that's really cool. Previously on iOS 18.1, that used to be just locked on the page right there. So you could not move while you're actually hiding. Distracting items, now you can scroll as easy as that and just find any item you want to hide all right, that wraps up our introduce at the new features in iOS 18.2. Do you think they're super handy and quick? If you want to get a taste of the new features in iOS 18.2, try using iMyPhone Fixpo. It lets you upgrade to iOS 18 with just one click. Step one, download iMyPhone Fixpo from description below and open it. Step two, 
under the iOS upgrade downgrade tab, choose the upgrade iOS as you want to get the iOS 18.2. Step three, Fixbo will automatically detect your device. Once the info shows up, click the download button to get the iOS 18.2 firmware step four. Click the start upgrade iOS button and put your iPhone into recovery mode. For iPhone eight and above, instantly click and release the volume up key and then the volume down key. Press and hold the side button until you see this. Wait for a few minutes for the software to finish installing the iOS 18 beta on your iPhone. When the process is finished, your iPhone will be rebooted and you can see that your iPhone now is in the iOS 18 beta version. Amazing, right? Now you can fully enjoy exploring the new features of iOS 18. All right, that's it for today. If this video helps, please hit it with a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Any questions, please leave a comment below. See you guys in the next video.